ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. My name is Arshu TV, and we're about to show you guys a Winter Conversions Festival Part 2 in 2022. This video is going to be helping you understand what items to be picking up, what weapons the best could take advantage of, and some information I guarantee you, you probably didn't know. Let's go dive right in and let's show you what it's all about. All right, let's check out the Winter of Wander. Here you'll see at the top right, you'll get your reputation to level 5 to obtain the highest quality items available from the Holiday Regent. We'll be talking about armors in this section as to what I believe is worth buying with your premium tokens first. Pick yourself up a full heavy armor set, including a full light armor set. A light armor set will be one medium chest piece and all light, which includes the helmet, gloves, and pants in light, which will push your limit to 12.7 weight out of 12.9 to take advantage of more defense thanks to your medium chest, which still allows you to maintain light dodge rolling, 20% more damage in light armor, as well as having 30% more healing. At the very bottom is a reference to understand what is a light armor piece and a medium armor piece and heavy armor purchases in the winter conversion shop as I've had plenty of people tell me live on stream which one should they purchase as it's fairly confusing to the average player. The UI doesn't do a good enough job via text to explain what you're about to purchase is a heavy armor, medium or light armor piece. Hope this was helpful. Let's go to the next section. We're going to be talking about weapons next. All right, let's get started. What you want to do is go straight over to New World Guide. You're going to see it's called new-world.guide. And in here, the items tab at the top left allows you to check out all of the winter conversions in 2022 and the previous events that happened in New World. Freaking amazing. After you click on the Winter Conversions Festival, you'll see every single one of these are the items that can be picked up in going to all the different tabs. You don't have to scroll all the way to the bottom to go to tab number three, but this will give you that opportunity to see it all. And the crazy part is it also shows you all the skins. It's, just, it's fantastic. Now, weapons I recommend, why were we here, is you can click on the hatchet here and actually see what it offers you. It offers you chain ice, vicious, and keenly jagged. And it's allowed to be able to be craft in the strength series, in the deck series, in the intelligence series, focus, and con. Now, when it comes to a weapon, I truly recommend the actual element of attack. I mean, the attribute of attack. So you're gonna look at strength, for being the hatchet, that's the go-to. Unless if you genuinely need in the deck series because you're going on the dex path, that's up to you at this point. But the hatchet does scale a little bit less with dex. And then the greatest part is look at that text at the bottom as I can't move my mouse down there. It says scales with dex at 65% of that strength and damage, 90% with uh, strength. And so if we go ahead and check out the actual great sword, let's go and head over here and check this out. This is a weapon I also recommend you to craft. It's gonna say scales with strength at 81 while dex is 80. So they're both pretty much similar. Everybody's gonna say, wow, that's crazy. Well, New World Guide has that data for you and that's the go-to place. I would recommend them both to be in strength and that way you can take advantage of the full strength damage of the hatchet and the great sword if you're gonna be a DPS class in mutator dungeons. And these are two fairly good weapons that you can start off right in the beginning of the game and really kick ass. Don't forget to pick these up. And uh, those are some of the tips and tricks I have for you as far as the weapons are concerned. Every single weapon has the same pattern on there. Here I want to show you a similar weapon that you can buy on the market for 450k gold, or you can pick up your Asmodium, Runic Leather, and Glittering Ebony and have a three perker similar to this one. Here are the three shields that you can pick up from the Winter Convergence Festival, and I'm going to give you a heads up. It comes with sure footing on the buckler, comes with sure footing on the kite shield, and guess what, guys? It also comes with sure footing on the tower shield. This is by far the worst perk on a shield. Do not take this shield whatsoever, and I recommend you to basically run away. Whatever you do, you see sure footing, Alt F4. This Winter Convergence armor set is amazing for owning for your own personal luck armor set. You can choose to go light armor for self-healing as a life staff user and solo content, or you can choose to go heavy armor and solo everything with your trenchant recovery warhammer and lifesteal everything as a tank. Here are two of the armor sets that we're going to be showing you that I've crafted from the premium tokens that I've shown earlier in the video. Previously, Voidbent was the most sought after armor set in the beginning of the game because of its high gear score value in comparison to its faction armor set that was fairly easy to obtain at a gear score of 520 resilient and refreshing. Gear score in the past, sadly a lot of people didn't know, didn't matter in PvP as only perks were the difference makers and perks and Voidbent was contradicting itself by having PvE perks such as luck and resilient that it was really isn't needed in PvE currently. Uh, there was plenty of talks about rewarding players who flied for PvP to obtain more luck, but was never implemented. The system currently allows people to obtain Azov Salt and PvP experience. You will receive an additional 10% EXP when flied, which is used to level up your weapons faster from 1 to 20, or killing monsters to gain 10% more experience from levels 1 to 60. Flagging for PvP does not include luck, doesn't give you more experience when turning in quests, or having higher chances of loot slash named item drops when flagged. 
hope this clarifies some things. There's also no reason to have no con in the open world as you'll be soloing majority of the mini bosses for named items. And the no con rule really only applies to mutator dungeons as you'll be having a tank who will aggro all the monsters away from your five con DPS teammates. There's already a bis corrupted ward armor set that you can grind for in less than four hours that is made for mutator dungeons. And you can check the previous video we made in the link below for more details on that. The Winter Convergence set can be used as an alternative, but remember, luck isn't needed in Mutator Dungeons as you're aiming for the best time slash score to obtain gold for the highest loot slash rewards. The Abyss Corrupted Armor Mutator set called Tempestuous comes from comes with Refreshing Evasion, Corrupted Armor, Corrupted Ward, and Elemental Version. In short, on luck, it's only meant to boost your chances to obtain named items only. If you want to learn more about luck, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make a video on it. Here, make sure you guys take advantage of these free skins. There are two premium tokens each that you can get. The Flute of the Winter Star. You can also pick up the guitar one, which I've clearly Googled on how to say this name. The, what is it? Convergence Cacophony. I have no idea what it was originally. And now you're checking out the Chili Melody skin that you can take advantage of, including with the drums, which is called the Beat of the Winter, uh, as well as the final upright bass one, which is the Yeti Fur Bass. Well, I hope this was helpful. I mean, you got this far. Let me know down in the comments down below if you guys think that this was a good video, you didn't know something, or let me know what else you would like to see next time. Again, thank you so much for your likes and subscribing to this channel to help us grow in this intense universe called YouTube. At the same time, I always like to comment on the previous video that we had an opportunity to basically post earlier, which is why can't OPR come out in a month? And Ewogax stood out amongst the crowd, and I gotta say, right there, I'm stating it, wait, dot, 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 who just sharted. Listen, I can explain myself. I have a basic time marker on that video. Go ahead and check it out in the comments down below. Until next time, everybody, stay tuned.